Hi, family. Good Hi, morning, Steph. Steph. Good, Good morning. morning, beloved family. This morning, we're going to be looking at lesson 222. The idea is God is with me. I live and breathe in him. Um, sis, can we, can we stop here for a second? Because yes, wanted to. there's a difference again. <laughs> really? In your version, the COA version mm -hmm. of the course, and my version that I'm looking at here, which is the FIP version. Yeah. What's it say? So it's, there's got to be a miracle behind this one. It says here, God is with me. I live and move in him. Oh. You know, it's interesting because there's a, uh, it says in the Bible that we live and move and have our being in him. And yet there are hymns that I was raised with and I've seen other versions like Jesus gives us this here. I live and breathe I live and move and breathe in him. And I have to say that neither one of these is maybe more appropriate than another, but I'm so grateful for the opportunity to read it as breathe because I have had literal healings. I had a healing of a cold and I had a healing of the belief of allergies using that truth, literally knowing that we're always breathing in the atmosphere of love where there is no attack, where ideas in the mind of God cannot have a negative reaction. There's not one part of God attacking another part of God, certainly not a plant attacking the Holy Son of God. God created everything for our joy and, and our enjoyment. There is no attack in God. And so while we live in God and move, in God and breathe and have our being in God. That's um, another way to know our innocence, totally free, invulnerable from attack of any kind because love doesn't know it. So our existence is always in God. We're never outside and nothing that's not of God can find us, affix itself to us or change God's will. That is so, so comforting. Isn't it? Uh, it heals. It heals. Yeah. Truth uh, heals the mind. And I have to say that when you read, God is with me, I live and breathe in him, mm -hmm. that immediately brought me into peace. Yeah. But when I read, I live and move in him, mm -hmm. as in the FIP version, it, it doesn't bring me the same peace. So yeah. thank you. Let's use your version, which is the original version, right? Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, this is such a beautiful paragraph here. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Okay. All right. We're joining in our hearts and let's go. God is with me. Don't know why that one just struck a chord. <laughs> oh, you felt it. Stay with it, sis. Don't, don't abandon yourself. Otherwise, you abandon us. No, I won't. I'm just, Thank you. Stay with it. I got the gratitude because of the previous prayer where, you know, he says, God is with us because we're together. You know, and I've been feeling that since we read that. And now it's, you know, God is with me. He is my source of life, the life within, the air I breathe, the food by which I am sustained, the water which renews and cleanses me. He is my home wherein I live and move, the spirit which directs my actions offers me its thoughts and guarantees my safety 
from all pain. He covers me with kindness and with care and holds in love the sun he shines upon, who also shines on him. How still is he who knows the truth of what he speaks today? Father, we have no words except your name upon our lips and in our minds as we come quietly into your presence now and ask to rest with you in peace a while. I like these lessons. Thank you, family. We'll see you next time. Thank you for this blessing. So beautiful to join with you all, feeling you so close. We couldn't be doing this without you. Such gratitude. Yeah. I wouldn't be feeling this without you. No. Thanks for the felt state behind the course. <laughs>